Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. I'm back again with more coverage from the world of emulation. Today, taking a look at Xenia, an Xbox 360 emulator. Now, you may have noticed the title or thumbnail, and it's not intended as a derogatory term, quite the opposite. I wanted to jump into Xenia with a complete blind run, and I was genuinely not disappointed. Understandably, emulation can be quite intimidating with many factors that people find limiting, whether it be technical knowledge or capable hardware. The great thing about Xenia, at least with my surface look, was its simplicity. It's very important for me to understand the challenges an average user might go through so that, in turn, I can learn and help others. As you can see, I chose to test a low demanding title in Castle Crushers mostly because it's a beautifully simplistic 2D game and great fun. Plus, with the Xbox 360 arcade library, it's sometimes nice to only deal with small file sizes, one of the things which kills me about RPCS3. Now, the good, the bad and the ugly. The good is that Xenia literally has no setup. Download the emulator, pick a game and load it. That's it. It automatically detected my Xbox One controller regardless of when I powered it up, something not all emulators do. Input was responsive and accurate. Vibration was active and worked, however I couldn't find a way to turn it off. This is one of the interesting things about Xenia, it seems to currently have no options at all, you just go with what you're given. It runs on the Vulkan API, which at least for Castle Crashers was fantastic. And it wasn't fantastic after some time. It was a great experience. Immediately, no delay at all. I went from a dry run straight into 60 FPS gameplay with basically zero shader caching. That impressed me. Naturally, 2D titles aren't that demanding in comparison to 3D, so you might expect this type of experience anyway. One thing which immediately struck me was the sound. It was truly rich and reminded me of when I tested Sonic Mania in Ryu Jinx. There's something to be said about getting hit by a wall of very rich sound. It's extremely satisfying and, in my opinion, absolutely crucial to the overall experience. Obviously, as you can see, visuals were basically perfect and I must say, what a great looking game. And get this, Castle Crushers is 10 years old. Emulators focus on the power of your CPU primarily and this game only required 40% of my i5-6400 which turbos to 3.3 GHz. Xenia used around 1 GB of memory and 20% of my 1050 Ti GPU. You'll find my specs in the description. Remember, these numbers are for a rather simplistic 2D title. They will change significantly in a 3D game. This brings me to my next point. Do you people out there have any requests for titles you'd like to see tested? Now, before you jump on the keyboard, please check the Xenia compatibility list for games which are either listed as gameplay or playable before making any demands. The list page will be linked in the description. Moving on to the bad, a common complaint I see from the community is that they feel progress is a little slow within Xenia. For me personally, the specific issues I had were that firstly, there was no obvious way to change resolution. So you're stuck with 1280 by 720. If you go full screen on a 1080p monitor, you'll simply stretch those pixels and lose image quality. But Far from a deal breaker, of course. Secondly, there was a noticeable delay between character animation and sound production, which definitely requires syncing, at least in Castle Crushers. Hopefully, as and when the emulator progresses, I hope to see some customization and actual options. For now, it's about as noob friendly as noob friendly can be, which is in fact a great plus especially if you'd be happy only playing Xbox 360 arcade titles on what might be your underpowered system. The main prerequisite for using Xenia is a Vulkan compatible GPU and Windows 8 or later. The only 
ugly point I could think to make revolves around the item drops in game which would suffer from a white square box corruption which didn't actually impact the experience other than visually. All in all, if we focus just on Castle Crashers for now, it was a truly pleasant experience with no setup and no delay. It just worked and worked more or less flawlessly, which is a rare experience for me in emulation. Many of us in this community live for the unfinished, the bugs, the improvements. It's actually part of the fun going through the experience of seeing them grow and progress. If all emulators were complete, we'd have nothing to do. So there you go people, my quick first dive into Xenia. What do you think? Leave your thoughts, comments and ideas down below. Make sure to stick around for my second journey into Xenia where I take a look at how 3D games perform. If you want to keep up to date with all things Complaining Gamer, come follow me on Twitter or join the community Discord. All links are provided. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike and comment. And to know the latest senior info, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.